major developments in the pot world, U.S. health officials have written to the Drug Enforcement Agency, hello, Hank, asking it to reclassify marijuana to a Schedule Three drug under the Controlled Substances Act. Right now, marijuana is considered a Schedule One drug, which puts it in the same category as high-risk substances like heroin and LSD. Moving it to Schedule Three, which advocates have asked for a long time would lump it in with ketamine and cough syrup, things that are considered less dangerous and obtainable with a prescription. It'd also be an acknowledgement by the federal government that pot has legit uses. So if this happens, it would be revolutionary for the struggling cannabis industry. For one, reclassification would drastically lower the tax rate cannabis companies have to pay since they can't take tax deductions like most other companies. It would also possibly open the door to federally chartered banks to begin working with the industry. And we know that's been a major hurdle for cannabis cannabis businesses. So while there's a long review process ahead, cannabis companies can finally see the light that is Schedule 3 after being mired in dark Schedule 1 land for so long. Yeah, the kind of the reaction from the cannabis industry was like, great, yeah, it does give us a path towards those tax breaks, which are huge. It also makes research on the drug easier. One thing it still does not do, though, is give a comprehensive regulatory framework for the industry. So even though it is moving towards this less criminalized version of, of what it would be, it, it still is not the comprehensive regulatory framework that a lot of people in the industry have been calling for for a long time. That being said, though, marijuana stocks did react to the news yesterday. The MJ Pure Play 100 Index, mm -hmm. first of all, great name for an index. Mary Jane. Yeah, it was... It, it, it rose 13% yesterday. It's still down 21% year to date, but we did see this massive spike on this news that this could potentially be happening. And there was this new research that came out of the University of Michigan earlier this month that uh, I was reading into. Cannabis, cannabis use in the United States has never been higher. Everyone is freaking getting high here. So the, re the according to the research, almost 44% of young adults between 19 and 30 and nearly 28% of midlife adults, so 35 to 50, reported using marijuana in the last 12 months. That's an all-time high for both. And then when you look at daily marijuana use, so people use it every day, more than 11% of young adults do, and those are double the rates from 10 years ago. So this is a very popular... <laughs> Yeah. thing. It's only becoming even more popular. I think 38 states have legalized it for recreational or uh, yeah. or medical use. 38 allow it for medical use and 23 yeah. allow it for recreational use. So yeah, of course we're going to see that. It is crazy that it was, it's been, it's been lumped in with with heroin. I, yeah. It, because but, it's legal. But it, it also doesn't feel quite right to lump it in with cough syrup at the same time. But also ketamine snuck in there too, though. So it is interesting to see which drugs are class one and which are class three. Also, just one final note, the U.S. Open is going on right now. And a lot of players have been complaining about smells of marijuana smoke while playing on some of the outer courts. And I also thought it was hilarious. I was reading articles on this. And some of the fans were interviewed. And they were going, we just smell New York air. Like, yeah. Or or another one said, no, but my sense of smell isn't great these days. So I do think it was interesting that New Yorkers are like, I don't know, man. Yeah, this is just kind of what it it's smells like. It's baseline smell. But this yeah. is Court 17 right near Corona Park. So they actually investigated what was going on because right. a bunch of the players were like, this is really like kind of messing with my game. One, as Zverev said, Court 17 definitely smells like Snoop Dogg's <laughs> living room. So this is kind of – it seems like it's powerful. And they think it's right up against the Corona Park. Park so they think yeah. that – People are kind of token up in the park right near the stadium, and that's kind of wafting, wafting in. in. But yeah. they said that no fans in the stands were doing it, though I'm sure they are because you have these little vape yeah, things vape. that you can just hit them pretty easily. Not that I know. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you want more Morning Brew Daily, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also check out the rest of our episodes wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes drop at 7 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, and you can email us at morningbrewdaily at morningbrew.com.